We now return to Let's Play Rogue State. Last time, because of greed and the inability to do math, I have put the country in a very dire situation. We must now go to the policies and see what can be done here to turn things around. Labor rights have finally come around to kick me in the butt. I have had no positive influx on that. Um, bad. Bad, bad, bad. This will help with jobs. We don't need help on jobs. We need help on GDP. Now, GDP should, should be going up. Uh, I've got, I've got three things helping GDP, even though it says that this is the only one of them that actually helps. Uh, I can turn down on that, turn down on that, and then maybe that helps no one. Trying to, uh, trying to more positively impact things here. That would be good. Except, of course, that it's not helping the, uh, the labor cause at all. This is going to hurt jobs. Um, uh, and that's going to hurt capitalism. We might have to turn down on our support here. Which I don't really like. But, uh, we kind of have to deal with something there. Might also have to turn down on our preparation funds and lower that. Crime might start to rise. Corruption is certainly going to rise, but I think we've done well enough on that. Corruption is now going to rise because of labor stuff, though. Um, this will help jobs. How does this not... Oh. Gonna disaffect them. I think it's up to one man. Corruption would be be rising through the roof there, and we can't really have this with the liberals. We need to be doing something that uh, positively impacts them. And unfortunately, I've really used up most of everything I have that will. I'll help in that situation. Um, yeah, this doesn't really help me out here. That's pushing labor down. This is pushing labor up. We need to actually basically just... Uh, just clamp down on that altogether. We have an excess amount of... Patriotism... Where, where do they intersect? If we turn... There we go. We turn that down. Now, wait a minute. How did I just turn that from five? Wow, that really blows that down, doesn't it? Um, so we'll get rid of the, the death penalty. But we still have this issue with the capitalists. We're really not helping anything here. Maybe I can just do that for... Ah, uh, but we still got the labor going down. We need this to help with the labor. That's going to impact jobs. We've already got jobs going up there. Jobs coming down here. This is really aggravating. We don't want capitalism to go down. But we really don't want... Ah... Uh, because the, the capitalists are actually the largest group. So having them go down doesn't help us at all. We want the fundamentalists to come up, but the liberals actually need to come up even more. Crime will rise if we do that. Let's go ahead and tolerate alcohol. Everyone can drink away their problems. Uh, of course, crime is now... I mean, I could fight that with this. Especially now that we've got crime going up there. Crime going up there. This will help with crime. This will help with crime. That'll help with crime. But we have two corruptions. We need something that's going anti-corruption there. Unfortunately, that's really not helpful. We need some income. 
I, I'm considering closing off some of those trade deals. Um, however, the thing about that is that we'll then piss off our trade partners, which of course is not good. We have to get that all the way down. That's not good. Mm. I really wish there were more issues that we could affect here. If we bring this up, and then bring this forward, how about that? We're having to deal with two million a turn. I may have to just hurt my approval ratings by raising taxes. Labor's hurting though, with labor's already hurting. Yes, that's why I turned that down. Ah, damn it. I may have to take a bigger hit on the jobs. But we're already wait, what I did I not just Oh, right, because I flipped that backwards, so no. Okay, we'll try that for a turn, see how that goes. Um, there's no way we're going to get liberal approval up there in the next three turns, which I believe is what this guy wanted, right? By turn 12, yeah. So, yeah, that's just never going to happen. Uh, we could fire him, seeing as how he is part of the liberal faction. That would piss off the liberals, I'm sure. Um, I think we'll just have to maintain and hope for the best. <laughs> to be completely honest here, we're going to have to hope that these bonuses actually come into effect. Um, I, I don't know what else to do there. Uh, that's essentially all that I am working towards, is just using those. Uh, we do have sweatshop. That's just helping capitalist approval. So, you know, I'm wondering, because I... Unfortunately, I can't see all the plus ones and twos and whatever that are coming my way. And unfortunately, these were only one-time deals. What we really need to pull us out of this is to get to 100% approval in Parliament. Of course, that's not going to happen with all of this, but that would allow me to make the purchases uh, that would allow me to, uh, to basically buy them off. That's really the only way to dig myself out of this at the moment. Let's go talk to Takir. State finances, yes, yes, you should be worried. In fact, I'm very worried about clicking over to the next turn, which I believe I'm going to do since I can't really do anything else at the moment. Um, I mean, aside from just aside from trading the taxes off. And I, I lowered those to increase approval, so lowering them is not going to help our financial situation. And then uh, raising them, of course, is just going to hurt me. And the GDP and everything else. Let's just go to the next turn. We're very close to the end of the year when I can make my big speech, and that might help me with my approval if I make the right speech. Ah, you have been approached by the Russian ambassador about the establishment of a repair and resupply facility for exclusive use by the Russian Navy. Russia would finance the construction of the facility and provide Basenji with limited financial aid so long as it remains in operation. While accepting will ir irritate the Americans, this could lead to greater initiatives with Russia down the road. I believe that's the way to go. Uh, other income, we only get one. Can we? We can't really turn that down, though. United States, uh, we're, we'll we'll make do. Okay, here's a chance to shine. Seventeen million in export revenue. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, in export revenue. Ah. Okay, let me look at my finances real quick. In export revenue. Oh, we're making that. So maybe that's why we immediately got his uh, his little thing here, his boost. Which should be capitalist, correct? Yes, we'll go ahead and buy that right now. So, we should have uh, much, much better. We're now getting two loyalty points per turn. Good, that's steadily climbing. Um, 66% approval in the Patriots, 72% approval in the Capitalists. Let's go find out what portion of the government they make. Russian naval base proposed. Glorious leader agrees to cooperation. A rally against apathy draws an unsurprisingly small crowd. I believe we already read that. Income tax increases are temporary. Well, we didn't actually increase them. But, uh, yes, we're still... 
68%. And with our capitalists being the, uh, the larger faction there. We really, really need to get our liberals out of the red, though. Otherwise, they're going to become uh, our, our big problem. Unfortunately, we're not in a situation where I can make any money whatsoever. So, I think I'm just going to have to spend some time buttering up the neighbors, especially both of you, who have now surprisingly become our strongest ally. Uh, Western imperialism. I Oh, they don't like the West, so... We are very worried about Western imperialism. We are glad to see you are not afraid. We will stand with you as brothers and sisters in the fight against tyranny. Good. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. So, that should be pretty damn good now. I hope. Tajikistan. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, United Nations, I don't believe they they like the West... what? Yeah, okay. I need to make better notes, because when I'm saying talking about the West is a positive thing, I mean disparaging the West is a positive thing. They don't... Uh, saying this would not, not increase anything with them. Just checking in, folks. Uh, we might want to even talk to the, the U.S. now. We'll just go ahead and spend this turn doing that, Thank talking to people. Spiritual leadership, jointly funding with the U.S. Uh, yeah, they do like the United States. The thing is, I believe if we say this, we might actually end up going through something like this, and uh, we can't afford to, to have any such thing right now. I've not tried that, of course, to, uh, to test it, but we definitely don't want to Good find day. ourselves in another bad situation day? at the moment. Okay, made our calls. The Basenji Intelligence Authority has obtained credible evidence that anti-Western terrorists have set up training camps in the remote deserts of Basenji. We can send the army to eliminate them, hurting the fundamentalists, uh, offer financial aid and armaments, two per turn for five turns, would increase patriotism and fundamentalism, it would hurt our tourism, which is barely making us any money right now anyway, but to lose the tourism revenue would drastically hurt me even more. I mean, we'd go zero immediately. Ask the U.S. to provide military assistance, which has positive effects for the U.S. and patriots, or ignore their activities, as they don't concern your people. Uh, they certainly do. Let's go ahead with the all green, and uh, I believe this will be just fine. Hopefully it won't have any impact upon the fundamentalists. Everyone's approval went up. Good. Glad to see that. Glad to see that. It really, really needs to. Okay. Political situation is dire. We should really just continue with the pleasantries. Um... Because I really don't think this is going to help me. On the other hand, maybe we kind of need this. So let's risk it. Basenji's political situation is... Uh, well, I'll let him say it. Basenji's political situation is dire. I beg of you, please help me regain the support of my people. Frankly, we're going to sit this one out and see where the chips are going to fall before offering our support to anyone. Yeah, that's... It was too far down. If they liked me... If they liked me, that uh, would have been different. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, let me have a look real quick at the relations there. I don't think it changed much. That's good. We have no intelligence because... I, well, I mean, we do against the United States because we kind of know. Um, but against the rest of everyone, we have nothing because we don't have that intelligence agency and I'm very far away from being able to afford such a thing. Citizens are now capitalists. More citizens or capitalists is really what it should say. The Akap fighters in Falzi Desert. Basenji formally requests U.S. assistance in combating terror. Shouldn't we have done that with the Russians? Uh, economy, a meaningful concern for today's Basenjis. Jobs and taxes remain top priorities, and the public is assured that the income tax increases are temporary. I don't know what the hell is going on. Holy crap! Capitalists are now almost 50%. The fundamentalists are shrinking. That's, um... 
That's too bad, because actually I was hoping eventually to utilize them as leverage for the Karifi, the Karifi separatist movement. Speaking of which, I don't believe I've actually read anything about the Karifi in the encyclopedia, so let's have a reading moment together. Uh, Babilistan, Basenji, Bothia, Farouk, I believe we talked about Farouk as well as General Adad, correct? The only ones I have not talked about are Karif in the United States. Karifi are an ethnic subgroup of Basenji with a sizable fundamentalist population that are rigid adherence to the tenements of the old ways. Most ethnic Karifi leave in, live in the southern territories and experience an overall greater unemployment rate, deteriorating infrastructure, and more limited access to fresh water. Karifi separatism is an issue that was raised in Basenji politics whenever the southern economy suffered under King Salman. The suppression of political parties and the reign of tyranny of the royal family kept sentiments of separation largely academic. With the reformation of Basenji as a republic, Karifi separation has returned to civic discourse. Justifications for Karifi sovereignty are historically ethno-nationalistic, claiming that the unique culture and dialect of the population are threatened with assimilation by the rest of Basenji, and that the best way to preserve the fundamentalist region's identity and culture is via the creation of an independent theocracy. Karifi extremists have been known, on rare occasion, to kidnap and ransom businessmen over the past decade. United States, the U.S., commonly referred to as the United States, or America, is a federal republic mostly located between Canada and Mexico, <laughs> mostly located between Canaba, Can Canaba, Canabas, and Mexicanus. At 3.8 million square miles and with over 320 million people, the United States is the world's fourth largest country by total area and third largest by population. It is one of the world's most ethnically diverse and multicultural nations, the product of large-scale immigration from many countries. The geography and climate of the United States are also extremely diverse, and the country is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including the people. The United States has the world's largest national economy, benefiting from an abundance of natural resources and high worker productivity. While the U.S. economy is considered post-industrial, the country continues to be one of the world's largest manufacturers, accounting for 37% of global military spending, it is the world's foremost economic and military power, a prominent political and cultural force, and a leader in scientific research and technological innovations. Establishing yourself as a threat to the United States always carries the risk of invasion. Historically, countries invaded by the United States have not fared well. Okay. We have a full turn to do something. The fundamentalists are on their way up, so are the liberals. We now have a plus six coming in, and almost 80% approval in Parliament. Whatever I've been doing, it's been working. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone is at, at the very least neutral. 52%, 48%, uh, that's going to go down. That's going to go down because by next turn, we're not going to be able to accomplish what he wants me to accomplish. That's very unfortunate. But, uh... Because we've managed to switch things up, they, uh, they are helping. Religious schools would help. And a national university. Now that is going to be a problem. If we look at the... I believe it's infrastructure, yeah? Um, yes, so we can split off into either religious schools or the university. Not both. Now, they are both... Uh, they are both um, pretty small, and I believe they are going to remain small. Let me look at this again. 11% and 15%. So yes, um, it's kind of a toss-up, really, between which one is going to be more important and which one we can just sort of squish out. I think before I go spending money that we don't have um, on <laughs> such things, uh, I'm going to let one of them peter out. What we really should be doing is focusing on, at the very least, a national defense doctrine and uh, probably visitor screening. I would eventually like the intelligence agency, not just for our own safety, but also for uh, finding out what our neighbors are all about. So far, our neighbors are probably doing well. Let's look at uh, Tariq here. Finance remains the biggest thing. Reputation's good. Okay, health. You can leave. Health is a problem, is it? Is that because we don't have a, uh, a hospital? Yeah, I think that might be. This would help. This would help me get me uh, liberal approval. That's probably what I should be going down towards. Unfortunately, it also costs five per turn, so it's gonna. We're gonna have to wait on something. Um, however, because everyone's going up, I'm 
seeing that these are finally kicking in, so that's nice. Um, policies, I mean, we went up 14% from last turn with the Capitalists. 13% last turn with the Patriots. 3% and 3%. So, even though we now have this 2% disapproval through our policies, we are... Well, I mean, we've kind of plateaued since the last bit, but we're going up. And so that's good. That's only good. Uh, what do I want to do this turn? I'm, I'm almost tempted to just skip the turn entirely. Let's continue with the phone calls. Um, I, I don't know what can be gained this way, really. We should probably have gone through all of that. Uh, did I do the positive or the negatives with religion? I think it's actually negative. Perhaps we should say spiritual leadership is important, but we must also accept literal interpretations. Do not make sense in this day and age. Right, because he was he was saying we're a modern society, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I think both of these would probably help us. Let's go ahead and try it. Spiritual leadership is important, but we must also accept that literal interpretations of the old ways do not make sense in this day and age. While we appreciate your moderate stance, we still believe in a complete separation of faith and state. Well, that makes this next one easier, doesn't it? Oh, we only had a choice between one or two. Uh. Well, okay, fine. But now we know for sure, don't we? Now we know for sure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to talk about that. He doesn't want to talk about either of these. Uh, okay. End the call. Apologies. Goodbye. Thank you. You know, I do have that perk that I can unlock to maybe talk her into just being, um, being better. Uh, I don't think this would help necessarily because, I mean, let's try it. Uh, yeah. It's our responsibility to govern in the strictest traditions of the old ways and to protect the people from heretical philosophy. Oh, that's a bad one. You have manipulated those traditions to place yourself above criticism. And you are using our beautiful faith to make a false idol of yourself to your people. Wow, she was really upset by that one. Um, yeah, I forgot. That's actually a bad one because the description of Babelistan was that they are a multi-religious nation. None of these, in other words, are good. Um... We want to work with you to advance human rights and freedoms in the region. It is interesting to hear you say this. The people enjoy many freedoms here in Babelistan. Can you truly say the same about Basenji? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay, end the call. That's what concerned me there. Um, let's go into the war room here. We may need to shift around some of our... Uh, our military units. Speaking of which, um, yeah, Babelistan, I want you... I thought I had two tanks. Maybe I was considering two tanks. Uh, let's go over to Tajikistan. We have not been doing any favors with Babelistan. Oh, and that'll be my last turn. Shuffling around units is, uh... Okay. Well, here we go. A small asteroid will impact Basenji in 18 hours. We cannot assess exactly where it will land, but the shock wave is likely to cause some injuries. Uh, well, we can only have our scientists disciplined for not discovering the asteroid sooner. Um, we're absolutely nowhere near having a space program, so that is something out of the ordinary there. Um, it has been one year since you were installed as glorious leader of the People's Republic of Basenji. This occasion marks a perfect time to address the public and comment on the future of our great nation. The speech will affect your approval ratings. Choosing powerful sentences with many plus signs will have a greater impact on listeners, but only if you stay on topic. All lines will influence the content of your speech, so if you contradict yourself or try to please everybody, your speech will likely fail. The Honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. I wish to address you first as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders, the builders of its prosperity, and the architects of its future. 
Uh, I kind of think I want to open up with at least talking about the revolution. Acknowledging it. These other things are powerful, but uh, we kind of want to... And this is the first year. I mean, we kind of want to focus on this. Our glorious revolution marked the day that we established our independence and our national identity. No, nah, not so much. Not so much. Didn't actually go very, very far. Um, increase funding of state schools and implement new programs to teach you know, youth and society. Uh, major reform of the national health care. That's an important one for people. Subsidize core exports. Defend ourselves against imperialist aggressors with the might of our blessed armies. Now, that would probably be good, but it's also going to negatively affect the United States. Probably have good things with the military. Um, I don't really want to go borderline aggressive right now. I think we want to just talk about what we'll do here. The Senji will undertake a major reform of its national health care system to ensure fuller coverage exists for all of our citizens. They did say, or, uh, that's not going very fast at all. That's not going to make it very far. Damn it. Um, our, our advisor did say that people were worried about health care. That was not a very strong one. We wanted it to go much, much further. National unemployment insurance, that'd be good. Uh, it's also very strong. Second, we will establish a national unemployment insurance, so no Basenji need ever to fear losing their job again. That's going slow too. Damn it. Well, actually, maybe it's gonna go. It's gonna go the distance. Wow. It is with a full heart that I say to you all. Your continued patriotic zeal and selflessness will build our country into the most powerful country in the world. A people's paradise. At least get to the yellow. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that helped out with the liberals a lot. By 14, that's good. We failed. Lost some of his respect. We got pretty darn close, though. So, how does he feel about me right now? Oh boy. Negative one. We might just want to fire this guy. Um, the foreign minister boosts all foreign relations by one a turn. Uh, so, can I get someone else? Firing him, though, I'm willing to bet it's really gonna, really gonna hurt me, but we don't want him... Let's try this. I don't think I've ever tried this, so let's, let's kick him out. 85 right now. Damn. Um... Yeah, we need supporters. We need people who are loyal to me. Kick him out. Slightly improve loyalty of the rest of your cabinet, but it'll drop your approval with liberals by 20%. Holy crap. Yeah, let's not do that. You get to keep your job. For now. Um, we're climbing at a rate that I'm now comfortable with. We'll hit 100 here, at least in the next few turns, and then I'll be able to start using my excess towards uh, saving up for some of those perks that will allow me to buy loyalty and happiness. We gotta do something about this money, though. Um, this is helping, but we're not gonna get very far unless we can start really doing things like buying uh, hospitals and schools and focusing on infrastructure, really. Um, I think a better way to make the money would actually be going through the American hotel and global shipping giant. Um, obviously, I already mentioned that we're not going to make much per turn out of it, uh, just based on what it, what it actually costs. However, capitalist approval and the GDP will undoubtedly help. We could also go cartel. This gives me a one-time boost to my values. Uh, I'm not sure that's a, the way to go, though, because I think it might upset a few people. Eventually, we're going to have to want to go into some security. 
but again, that cost money. So really, what I should have done was just gone for like a year at plus 40 and just kept it that way. Lessons learned, mistakes made. Um, newspaper. Meteor blast strikes Basenji. Glorious leader blames the Clendathu bug menace. Relations with Babela stand cool. Yeah, again. And, uh... Damn. Okay. Well, uh... We now have 72% popularity overall. That's a marked improvement over <laughs> pretty much everything else. Actually, let's go into the Situation Room right now and talk to Adad. Um... Excellency, the generals of your armed forces stand ready to execute your orders. How is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying, Who? the troops love you. They will follow your orders faithfully. Well, that is fantastic. I was not expecting that we'd already have high military approval. That's going to help us in the end game for sure. We have to maintain that. We have to keep that high. Um, even more so if I'm actually going to start invading some neighbors. I don't know about this. I honestly don't know where... Uh, <laughs> where we're gonna go. Maybe keeping Trajikistan our friend would be fine. And we'll just go after Babelistan. Um, they are, however, friends with the United States and the UN, so I'm sure we would get some international ire by doing that. But conquering the region would be a goal to have. Wait a minute. Oh, we're selling both of these to Babelistan. Okay, I was gonna say, why are we, why are we only doing the one? So let's go ahead and look. I mean, if, if I start getting some money here, as soon as our trade agreements end, and I don't want to cancel them pre prematurely because uh, things are fragile enough as they are in the region, but as soon as that ends and we bump ourselves back up to, say, even a 30 million a turn, we can start putting away some cash towards uh, some things like, uh, you know, well, first of all, we need a clandestine facility, but we could also go towards some nukes, Maybe a great firewall. I don't know what that would really help me with. Controls public opinion, though. Uh, that's good. It's relatively cheap. We'd want probably... I've noticed that we'd get... Yeah, you want to bump it up to about there. Because that's when it switches from expenses of 16 and goes straight up to 23. So that gets you 84%. Pretty high quite pricey, but again, if we were making 30 mil a turn, we could trade it off that way. I don't know. We'll look at it. I'm going to end this one here, and we'll continue on with the glorious rise of Basenji next time.